everyone. Welcome back to Online Equestrian Lessons. I'm Katie. I've got Moose behind me today and I'm so excited you could join us for this video. So we are going to go out and lunge Moose today and then we're going to have a really good um, schooling. So I've been working with Moose on moving forward and also just really trying to get him to go on the bit, um, things like that. So we might incorporate some ground holes today. So I thought I would just bring you along um, with us and I can just show you guys um, what a normal day-to-day -day school looks like for us. So Moose is five years old. He is a green bean. Um, so he's learning all this new stuff. So anyways, guys, let's just jump into the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, and if you're new here, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, so here I'm just lunging moose and I'm doing an exercise that's called spiraling in and spiraling out. So basically I'm taking in the lunge line and asking him to go on a smaller circle and then letting the lunge line back out and using my whip to kind of push him out a little bit just as an extension of my arm. Um, and then also asking him to do transitions while we're doing this spiraling and spiraling out. And basically it's going to help him to learn to bend, um, help him to just uh, learn to use his hind end a little bit more to push instead of pulling himself along. Um, so there's just a lot of different benefits, but I'm going to be doing this same exercise riding him. So I want to just do this on the ground first so he kind of, um, you know, gets the idea of what I'm asking him to do before I try to do it on him. Um, so Moose is also working on tempo and rhythm because his favorite um, sort of gait would be walker halt. <laughs> so definitely, um, you know, working on pushing him forward and just keeping that same tempo and rhythm. So this is just a really, really great exercise. And so we just got done with our lunging session. Moose was really, really good. So as you can see um, in the lunging session, what I was doing was bringing him to a smaller circle and then out to a bigger circle and then smaller again. And basically what this does is it really helps with tempo and rhythm um, and also with bend and taking up that outside rein. And there's just so many benefits. So um, it's called spiraling in and spiraling out. Um, and when I'm doing that, I also add in transitions as well. So we're gonna be doing the same exercise today riding him so anyways guys stay tuned and this is a really really good exercise um, you can also work a little bit on threading um, but it's really good for straightness for bending um, and just really helping them to start to understand you know how to bend through your leg and how to do a little bit of basically your leg yielding on the circle is what you're doing um, so anyways hope you guys can see this it's really bright outside so the lighting might not be the best but yeah let's just jump into it all right, so I hopped on Moose, and then the first thing I started doing was just walking the circle, um, and then just asking him to go on the bit and everything. And then while I'm doing this exercise, I like to change direction um, through the middle of the circle. So then I believe I just start um, at the walk here, just spiraling into the circle, um, asking him to bend with my inside rein and inside leg, and then while I'm asking him to come in on the circle um, and make a smaller and smaller circle, um, I use my outside rein and my outside kind of thigh and knee to get him to come in um, towards the center of the circle. And you really don't want to go on a smaller circle than like a 10 meter um, is usually about the size that I go. So this is a really great way to get your horse um, learning kind of how to move off the leg um, as well as um, helping the rider as well because um, you can kind of try to use more of your body seat and legs to guide the horse and not so much rein. So it's also a really great um, just kind of uh, exercise for the rider. So this already knows this exercise, this is amazing for the rider. You can really work on your um, on your position and everything kind of while you're doing this exercise so there he went to a smaller circle and now I'm pushing him back out with my inside rein and inside leg um, and then you can kind of catch that a little bit with the outside rein so 
Um, if they if you feel like your horse is kind of leaning with the shoulder, then you can go ahead and use that outside rein. All right, so now into trot, and you can see he's not consistent um, in his rhythm or anything. He just wants to come back to walk all the time, and he kind of shuts down. So I'm riding in a dressage whip um, at this ride, and he was a little bit better. Um, but for a young horse to learn how to go on the bit and hold that position while they're going forward is really difficult. You know, lots to think about. So doing it on the lunge line is definitely a good idea before you add a rider. But yeah, here he's doing pretty good. You want to think one, two, one, two, one, two, rhythm, rhythm, and tempo. You also, before you start spiraling, it's a good idea to just make sure you can do a nice 20 meter circle with a good rhythm. And then you can kind of start asking them to come in on the circle. Also thinking about keeping your shoulders straight, um, looking straight between your horse's ears. There he came back to walk a little bit. So pushing forward, really push around that circle and push around that bend. And that, they're pushing him back out on the circle. So this is just a really great exercise. Um, you know, do it, doing this two or three times a week. And also doing those transitions. So from trot to walk, trot to walk, you can even add halt. But what that's gonna do is help your horse to, instead of leaning so much on the forehand and kind of pulling with their front end, it's gonna teach them how to really sit and push with their hind end instead. So they're changing directions again. So nice small circle and then pushing your horse back out and that's a great time when you get your horse back out on the rail to ask for canter or to ask for trot. So it might be like watching paint dry, <laughs> but all of these things are really good exercises to do with your horse for sure. And there's so much going on in such a little amount of time when you're actually riding your horse. So. I hope it's not boring to watch, but it is definitely a really good exercise. He's a green bean, so we're just doing walk trot. He's really not balanced enough to canter yet, um, but it's a, also a really great exercise to do in canter, both spiraling in and spiraling out. Um, it can just really help your horse um, achieve better skills and everything, and also balance as well. So here, come in on the circle, push forward. Go, 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 go. So really think forward into your walk. So really march your horse, especially if they're on the forehand, march them into a walk and help them to stay more uphill and then forward right away back into trot. So like right here, he stopped. So get a reaction, use a little bit of a um, of your uh, crop or whip if you have one. Good boy, I'm also using a voucher bit and it is really a nice stable bit. He really, really likes it a lot. Yeah, so there's just a little bit of a look of how you can kind of work with your horse spiraling in and spiraling out on the circle. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you all how I kind of walk him out as well. All right, so also wanted to show you guys the trot this way. He was really, really um, so much better after doing the spiraling in and spiraling out the other way. He was just a lot more forward. Um, his tempo was just a lot better. He was better going on the bit, better bending. Um, so lots of good moments, still so much to work on because he is green, um, but yeah, so much better. <laughs>circle for the most part and I am left for half the circle um, then straighten then bend him right for half the circle then I change direction do the same thing 
and that's just a really good way to get them um, to where they're not going to be so stiff and sore the next day. Um, and then I just go ahead, since I've been on the circle for so long, just go ahead and walk around the entire arena. Um, yeah, and then that's our schooling. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it gives you guys some ideas and everything. Um, yeah, so then just uh, dismount and then we're done. Excuse the riding here, but we just got done. Moose was really, really good. So that exercise is a huge game changer. Um, so Moose, right now what he's working on is really just learning how to bend. That was actually his first time really, truly giving me a little bit of a bend. Um, just really going round um, and, you know, just keeping a good tempo um, and rhythm and things like that. So. That was really, really good. He also was super heavy on his front end. So we're trying to lighten that up a little bit um, as well and just kind of get him to sit more on his haunches. So doing the spiraling in, I'm not really sure what's going on here with my hair. Doing the spiraling in and spiraling out and doing your transitions in there and keeping him going forward um, while you are doing your um, like forward transitions. Forwards and downward transitions are really good. So anyways, guys, that was a good schooling. He is really hot and sweaty now. It's like super humid out. So we are going to go take him back to the barn um, and untack and let's just go rinse him off. See you in the barn. Don't know what's wrong, but something isn't right. I feel like. So I wanted to also do a review for you guys for this new breastplate and oh my goodness I am totally in love with it and the reason is it's got these clips right here which makes it so easy um, and then it has the um, little buckles here so you can adjust it here but you can also take it off um, and I'll have to put it over the, the horse's head. Um, it is from Takaras, or it's got sand on it. It's, it's from Takaras. Um, I believe it's the Challenger breastplate, but it's got elastic here, which is really nice. It has a D-ring here, and it comes with a running martingale attachment. It's super, super padded, and I love this part of the breastplate. Um, and then, if we go around to this side, it also has a clip over the, um, over the neck here, so you can also unclip it there as well. Um, but yeah. Really, really liking this breastplate. Um, so definitely would recommend if you guys are looking for one. For what it is, it's an amazing price because, yeah, some breastplates are pretty expensive. So, yeah, really liking it. my post ride um, sort of routine. Um, I've been doing dressage for a long time and so I've kind of got it down pat to a routine that really just helps me and my horses out. So um, especially in the heat of summer, this is what I try to do. Um, so first when I come back to the barn, very first thing is to take my horse's bridle off, get his halter on and get him tied up. Um, not only for his safety, 
Um, but just, I like to just get him comfortable as quick as possible after he's worked so hard for me. Um, but also, you know, if you try to take your helmet and your boots off, then what if your horse gets caught up with his bridle? So, and we never ever tie our horses with a bridle on. So anyway, I come in the barn, I get his bridle off and everything, and you'll see that in the video. Then I go ahead and take my helmet off just so I'm not like so hot and everything. Um, and then the first thing that I do, if my horse is wearing any kind of brushing boots or work boots or anything, get those off very first thing before you even do the saddle because you know with their legs being real hot and everything you just want to cool their legs off as quickly as possible moose doesn't wear any boots so I just get his saddle off as quickly as I can and then I just set all of my tack you know put it on hooks put it on the saddle rack um, you know get it to drying and everything as quickly as I can so that I can get him rinsed off because he's more important um, and so I'll go ahead and rinse him off if it's you know the heat of summer like it was today I rinse with cold water start at his legs and then his chest and try to just get him as you know cool as I can as quick as possible but also you don't want to just go on their um, body because it will kind of shock them with the cold water so let them get used to it um, so then after I put him away and everything then I'll go ahead and do my tack so um, I get my um, my saddle pads to drying and everything um, I wash my bit off and then if there's any um, like right here I've got my breast collar so if it's leather, you don't want to leave the sweat on it because it could, you know, really dry out your leather and you want your tack to last as long as possible. So I'll just go ahead and kind of run over um, my leather tack with some kind of leather cleaner um, slash conditioner. This is actually my favorite one to use. It's the Lexol 3-in-1 Leather Care. I just like it because it's in a spray and it's really handy. Um, and then I'll just go over it with a little sponge. Um, and then Moose's girth, saddle, and bridle are all uh, synthetic so I just wash his bed off really well just in the um, in like the sink with some water um, and then if there's any sweat like on the girth especially or anywhere on the bridle any sweat or sand I'll just go ahead and make sure that I wash that off with a um, wet rag just so that way it's ready for next time because if you leave any of that you know gunk on it could rub him and make him sore so anyways that's kind of my post um, ride routine um, so yeah, let's get on with the rest of the video. Don't know what's wrong, but something is right. I feel I belong in the light. Passion has gone and love's taken flight. Things just feel heavy tonight. I'm tasting no tears, I'm fighting no fears, but still there's a hole in my heart. Not on my own.
enjoyed that video. I hope that um, that gives you some ideas and maybe some exercises that you could do with your horse um, to just get your horse to be bending better and his transitions to be better, um, going on the bit better, staying a little bit more uphill. There's so many different benefits um, to spiraling in and spiraling out. Um, and there's a lot of different benefits to lunging too. So if you've seen, I went ahead and did the spiraling in, spiraling out, and bending, and um, transitions and everything on the lunge first before I did it on top of him just so that he gets the idea and everything. So anyways, again, thank you all so much uh, for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and happy riding!